on the trap. Yeah. And he was building up the trap because he was the king. Yeah. Amen. But he was trying to help someone by experiencing everything that he experienced. And we're still trying to help someone today by looking back over your past life and your past experiences without God. And if I look back over my past life, living my life without God, all I could see was a jail cell. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's all I could see. Life without God. Right. I could see me partying all the time, but, but the partying seemed like it never ended. I mean, when I look back over my life and realize that I, I live life without God, I didn't care how I treated folks, didn't care who I abused, didn't care who I misused, because I was living life without God, and I was trying to get everything that I could get. I was trying to do everything that I thought I was big and bad enough to do, realizing that it was leading me straight to hell, but I didn't care at that particular time. All I wanted to do was experience life. I didn't have a purpose, I didn't have peace, but I found the Lord. Yeah. A lot of folk in that boat today. I wasn't in that boat by myself. Right. Right. Some old folk off in that boat. Right. Looking for life without God, trying to get what you can, not caring how you get it. But that, that, that's what Solomon is trying to tell us here in Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. exactly. Talking about everything is vanity, it's useless, it's meaning. How do you know, Solomon? Because I tried it. Yeah. I've done that. Right. And I'm trying to help you. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's better to take the information and advice from someone that's been there and done that than to have to go through it yourself. I, 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 I know the experience is the best teacher, but I don't want to go through the experience. Solomon did. Because he wanted to convince people of what he had been through and not what anyone told him, but what he knew. Remember his father was David. Huh? So David had to train the boy up right. right. I tell that man, tell him which way to go. Remember, the Lord told him that I'm going to bless you because of the fact that you were asking for wisdom and knowledge for someone else. So, so I'm sure I'm going to bless you, but, but I know that his father David had to give him a foundation and a background. Obeying the Holy Spirit is a sign of living life without God. You're trying to find something. You're trying to find a purpose. You're trying to find peace. But first, you've got to find Jesus. Amen. In order to find Jesus, you have to look for it. Solomon. The Solomon stated man's problem. Solomon studied uh, man's problem. And, and then Solomon was wise enough to solve man's problem. Living mm -hmm. under the sun. Solomon uses that terminology mm -hmm. all through yeah. Ecclesiastes. Right. Life under the sun. Life under the sun without God. But then he speaks of life with God. There's a contrast between life without God and life with God. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your living is not in vain in the Lord. Solomon have solved our problem. Mm -hmm. And every one of us yeah. have to look back and analyze mm -hmm. our life yeah. before it's too late. Yeah. For we know not the day yeah. nor the hour yeah. that the Son of Man return. Yeah. But we do know one thing yeah. that he is coming back again. Yeah. <laughs> when Solomon looked at life's purpose Solomon as he was stating man's problem he had this conviction because he stated man's problem he was convicted you have to realize when you're looking at man's problem you have to have a conviction and after you have your conviction in order for Solomon to study 
man's problem. He had to also have a conversion. And after Solomon had his conviction, after he had his conversion, and then we looked at Solomon, he came up with solving the problem because he knew after conviction, he knew after conversion, there had to be a confession. And that is what will change every one of our lives. We have to realize that while we are going through this life, life you have a purpose and you can find that purpose, but you can't find your purpose without being in the Lord because you can find peace but you can't have peace without the Lord Solomon he was looking for purpose in life and there's a lot of folk right today they are still looking for purpose in life they don't know why they are here sister Jackie they always will tell you there's something that God wants me to do but I don't know what it is Seem like to me, I don't have a purpose. Seem like I'm just living life, and life is steady, going by, and I don't have a purpose in life. When I had my conviction, and had my conversion, I began, like Paul, I was dragging Christians off the prison. I was putting their name in the mud because of the fact that I was trying to live my life without God. But when you have your Damascus Road experience, you have to cry out like Paul cried out. And Solomon, he's trying to get us to cry out, Lord, what would you have me to do? I'm looking for my purpose in life. But I don't know my purpose. I don't have any peace. I don't have any rest. I took some Valium. I couldn't go to sleep. I took some Xanax. I couldn't calm my nerves. But Lord, when I found you, I found some peace. How did you find peace? I found peace because I confessed with my mouth. I believed in my heart that God had raised Jesus from the dead. If you want to find your purpose, if you want peace in your life, don't try living life without God. Living life without God, you got to walk around with your pistol in your pocket, worried about what's going to happen. When you're living life without God, you walk around worried all the time. When you live life without God, seem like confusion follow you everywhere. But I believe that Solomon made up his mind when Solomon he saw the problem, and we can see through the New Testament how he saw the problem and made man realize that you cannot live life without God. Man, the fear is you. Off in your side. Have anybody here have been scorned before? Anybody been talked about? Anybody been lied on? You have to realize that Jesus came down and he died on that cross for your sins and my sins because we had a problem trying to live life without God. But God analyzed the life's problem and he found out that men have to realize that they have a savior that's why I'm sending Jesus into the world he died he died y'all on an old rugged cross but he stayed on that cross until they took him down put him in an old father tomb he didn't stay there that long stayed three days and three nights after he came up with all power in his hand he sobbed I said he sobbed Solve that man's problem, and now you don't have to live life without God anymore. You don't have to make decisions in your life without Christ. That's why He came. He wanted you to live your life under the sun, depending on Him. Into your life, you need to analyze your life and see that something is missing. And it's Christ. 
And you need to accept Jesus Christ into your life now. Because the Bible says in that while you were yet in sin, Christ died for the ungodly. A lot of folks right now, when you analyze your life, you should be feeling a little bit of ungodliness right now. Because Christ is not in your life. But he wants to come into your life. And all that we have to do, he made it simple, didn't he? He said just confess and admit that you messed up. Yeah. Right. That you're tied up, that you're tangled up in sin, yeah. huh? and you have chains, shackles on your feet, oh, yeah. shackles on your hands. If you have to feel, and you feel like you need to analyze your life before it's too late, you need to accept Jesus Christ yes, into Lord. your life. Yes, just like Solomon, just like Paul. Yeah. You have to have that conviction and that conversion. And that confession in Christ's will come into your life. Hell is hot. Huh? And don't forget the king is coming. Ready. But now I pray that we'll all be ready when Jesus comes. Pray that we'll get our business straight so we can all celebrate. I pray we'll all be ready when Jesus comes. If you need Christ in your life, and you're not here, wherever you are, bow your heads with me just for a moment. Yes, Lord. And let's invite him. Let's analyze our life and invite Christ in. Lord God, we do come in the name of Jesus. Yes. Master, we come to say thank you first, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we come on behalf of all those that have not analyzed their life yes. and don't realize that you are missing in their life. And they've been trying to live life, but they've been trying to live life without you. And they keep coming to a dead end. Keep losing jobs, keep destroying lives, even their own. Help someone today, Lord, to wake up and realize that they need you in their life. Accept them into your life today. Just ask Jesus right now to come in to my life. And when you come in, Lord, I want you to be the Lord of my life. <clears throat> I want you to take out everything that's not like you and help me to be more like you. Amen. Amen. Find some